Welcome back. This has to be the best request I've had right after can a guy with a sausage hanging from his butt outrun a dog? And it is, which one interrupts the circuit faster? A modern circuit breaker or an old style fuse? So that's what I'm gonna try to find out. I have this little setup here. I'm using just a toaster, 800 watts, and a heater, 1500 watts. That's a combined total of 2300 watts, about 19.1 amps to replicate a slow blow situation. And right after that, I'm just gonna do a complete short circuit, just like I did in the previous episode I did about a year ago for Discovery, which was uh, how circuit breakers work in slow motion. One of the reasons I love high-speed cameras is not only because they make almost everything look absolutely amazing, but also because more importantly, they're scientific tools. And that is what we're gonna use to measure the time it takes for these devices to interrupt the circuit, the high speed camera. Okay, I'm all set up. I got the circuit breaker set, it's live. I'm ready to do the slow blow test on the circuit breaker, which isn't really gonna tell us much, but I think it's part of the process, so gotta do it. Let's turn the breaker on. Toaster, all the way up on seven. I know that's just the time, not the intensity. This one, 1500 watts, all the way. All right, let's see what happens. Bam, that's it. That's what I like. Fast, quick, done. Let's check that, oh man, high speed camera. That was the circuit breaker in the slow blow situation. I disconnected the power, removed the circuit breaker and put the fuse in its place. I'm gonna run the fuse through the same sort of test to see how the fuse interrupts the circuit differently than the circuit breaker in an over amperage or slow blow situation. Toaster, heater, this might take a couple minutes, but something's gonna happen. Oh, that's it. That was the fuse, and while the circuit breaker was kind of uneventful, the fuse was way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. Very unexpected. If you look at the fuse, you can see that the filament just started heating up as the amperage increased to the point where you can actually see it pulsing in sync with the frequency of the electricity that was flowing through it. Super cool. Now I'm gonna move on to the short circuit situation. I'm just gonna grab the two wires, short them together, completely short the circuit. This is something that I do not recommend anybody tries at home because I am not at home. All right, here we go. I got my safety gear on and not only is it protection for my eyes and my hands, but it also looks really stylish as well. I think I'm gonna start wearing my glasses like this. But uh, yeah, I have it plugged in. We're ready to go. The breaker's reset. I'm gonna just do a uh, short circuit condition by just putting these wires together. And I know some people are gonna say that you don't wear welding gloves while dealing with electricity, and yeah, that's true. But um, in this case, my hands are dry, the gloves are dry, the resistance is way too high for 120 volts. Nothing's gonna happen to me or my heart. And again, I don't recommend anybody do this ever because uh, yeah, just don't do it. Here it goes, three, two, one. Oh yeah, that look good. Okay, so that was the circuit breaker under a short circuit condition. And uh, I thought it looked pretty cool, especially looking at the high speed footage. Apart from the speed, just you can see how much energy and heat was created just with that short circuit at the wires because the air around it became like a plasma and just started burning. There was no flammable gas there, as far as I can see. That was just the heat and the air 
Uh, that was pretty impressive. Now I'm gonna put the fuse in place of the circuit breaker, do the exact same test. Then we're gonna look at the high speed footage of the circuit breaker and the fuse and see which one interrupts the circuit faster, the circuit breaker or the fuse. This is the fuse in the same situation as the circuit breaker, same frame rate, everything's the same. Let's see which one trips faster. There you go. Pretty simple. That wraps up my individual tests. Now time for a side-by-side -side comparison to see which blew faster, the fuse or the circuit breaker. I'm going to slow these down and go frame by frame. Keep in mind, each frame here is equal to one three thousandth of a second. So we can just count the frames to figure out how long the interrupt took for each and make our comparison that way. From what I saw, it looks like the fuse blew faster. I counted about 14 frames with the fuse and about 18 frames with the circuit breaker. Tell me what you think. And I just kept it simple here, but in my opinion, it seems like the fuse blows faster than the circuit breaker. All right, so that's about it. That's the circuit breaker versus fuse. They all look pretty amazing. And what I found really interesting is the way that the fuse blew apart internally under the short circuit condition. I don't know if that's uh, the way it was designed or it's just like so much amperage at one time, it just like blows the whole thing apart. Between the circuit breaker and the fuse, which one interrupts the circuit faster? It was really, really close. I think the main benefit of a circuit breaker versus a fuse is the fact that if it does trip, you can reset it versus like the old school fuses, you need more fuses to replace that fuse that blew. So yeah, again, this was an awesome viewer request. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you have any other ideas for any videos or anything you want us to do here and uh, I'll try to make it happen. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and check out the bell because if you click subscribe, you have to go to the bell and select if you want no notifications, some notifications or all notifications. A lot of people complain that they don't get notified of the videos that get uploaded and that's why. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you in some way. See you next time. Adios. And you can actually see it. Can you see it there? Here, you can come close and look. Look. See how it's heating up? That's the actual pulse of the current. Boom. Oh, now I see it. There we go. That's crazy. So it like overheats that little tiny yeah. element and then it finally gives way. Explodes. Creates too much resistance and then it's done. Wow. That was, uh, that was pretty cool. This was worth it. So uh, let's move on to the... Uh, yeah, the short circuit condition, which is going to be super easy, but yeah, let's do it.